right, let's take a closer look at the Fujika half frame camera that I've just used it. If we look on the top, how much you got? Mind lever, shutter button, cold show, shoe, and this here is your timer. It's like clockwork timer. You wind it up, and when you're ready to go, the lever to start. Now the only thing with uh, self timers on these older cameras is they have a tendency to go wrong. So I would recommend if you do have an older camera or you get hold of one, don't use the self timer. More than likely it will jam and cause you more problems. On the side, got the back release. Slide that up like that. On the bottom, got a tripod socket. We've got the frame counter and we've got the film release for when you want to rewind it. On this side, just another look. On the back, this is where you set film speed. As you can see, it only goes up to 200. Right on there, you just change to whatever film speed you want. And then this one here is to remind you of how many frames you've got. The 72, 40 or 24. This is hard numbers, but you find that? Mm. Yeah. Say the switch for the self timer. While we're around the back, I open the back up and see the half frame. Okay, there. Take on spool. That's where your film goes. In there. to get the canister in. So, on the front, got Celium cell, and on this one it seems to work all right, but they can be a bit uh, problemental, especially with the old age. You can have, and 28mm, 2.8cm, f2.8, you can have it on automatic, or you can actually pick your aperture as well. Focus in people, groups, infinity, or anything in between. On the bottom of the lens, you can actually set the shutter speed. When it's in auto, that won't move anywhere, it stays where it is. Take it off auto, let's move it to there. You can then shut, set the shutter speed. Got that back on auto. Obviously. Should have speed one. There he is. Yep. There he is, a nice half frame camera. So I thought I'd bring out the Fujika half just for a quick test. Just received this the other day from eBay. Um, first roll of film. We thought we'd give it a go. I'll take a few shots here of Rutland Castle. Oakham Castle even. 
Fujika is a half frame 35mm camera. Got 28mm lens on it. Celium cell, which seems to be working. But uh, not developed the uh, film yet, so we'll uh, give it a go after a few shots. I'll show you what it looks through the viewfinder. It is actually quite a reasonable viewfinder for a camera of this type. Here's the shot we're going to take. And as you can see, it's not a bad viewfinder. Hard to get the camera in the right place. Right? It will help to tell you what uh, F number and shutter speed for the use. So, we'll take a few more shots around here. Let's see how it goes. Let's say it's not a bad lens. Alright, well we're back home after taking the Yashica half frame camera out for a quick test. All we need to do now is get the film out, get it processed. Just to get the film out. All you do on this one is just lift up that lever there. Throw the power 100. As you can see, half a frame. Right, let's head down to my makeshift. Right. First thing I'm going to have to do is get the leader back out of the roll. I use one of these. Push that in there, slide the first one in, and listen for it to click. Development. A lot of not. How I do it anyway? So I start them off in the light, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, you know you're going to use a bit of leader. Slide a little bit over here. Start it. One side. Now I need to go into total darkness, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, reels all loaded up, time to mix some chemicals. In 20 degree water. What I normally do is just pre soak the film Need up the temperature, or down the temperature, depending on.
to start. It's going to be a semi stand, uh, rod and roll 100 to 1 for one hour. Uh, initially agitate first 30 seconds, then we'll agitate again another 30 seconds at 30 minutes, and then we'll finish it an hour. Let's get rid of the water. As there's five minutes left to go, I'll pull out the fix for any for the last bit. Okay, right, I'll be emptying the fella out in approximately 30 seconds. We'll do a wash for a minute and then I'm going to add the fix. Now, and the fix would normally even be three minutes, but this fix has been used few times so we're going to take that up to uh, nearly five minutes just to allow for that extra lose oh, use Top off. Real off. Hey, we got some. We got some pickies. Right, let's have a look at the next one. This is the Fuji Gear Half. I don't know if this one works or not. Scanned in the Fujika half frame uh, negatives now. Um, I made a video 
So now what I actually do the scanning process. Now I go through it. But I've got them all loaded into Lightroom at the moment. Just here. Some have already edited. Uh, some of the exposures are a little bit out. Not too bad though. And others, yeah, not bad. Quite impressed with the half frame camera. Oh yes, they're not bad at all. One we do that on there. No. Not bad for a small negative. And what I'll do later is I'll print them out either on the inkjet printer or I might actually do an actual print in the dark room. Here's some shots of uh, that I've printed out in the dark room from the Fujika half. I think the quality is quite surprisingly good for a half frame camera. Get some of the detail. Very surprised how good these have come out. In fact, I think they'll come out better on the dark room. Than it has. From a printer. Well, that's my review of the Fujika Half. For more reviews and videos, just hit the subscribe button. Goodbye.